a beautiful day in Guangzhou. Well, it's kind of cloudy. So I'm finally out of the hotel. Um, so I ended uh, my, um, my previous vlog <laughs> in the other room, which I forgot to do, but um, sorry guys. So I'm quite new to this. So um, I'm going to be touring around Guangzhou today and tomorrow. So today I'm going to be touring around the downtown area and tomorrow I want to go to a mountainous region. Well, the gardens and their parks. Here we have some food vendors, some street food. around the city which I'm going to show you guys here so these are the bikes that I will be uh, renting <laughs> So, I'm guessing this is one of the more uh, expensive areas in the city. So we have a pastry shop here. We have a little bit of a lineup. I guess it's something good. good to be walking again after two weeks in quarantine. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, we have a more bougie market. I guess convenience store. I believe that this might be a Japanese place? Or I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Forgive me, guys. We got noodles, ooh, we got beef noodles. Yum, I love. bustling. It's really cute. It's a really cute city, very green, which is just so comforting. I just love the fact that it's green. So green. All right, here is the Eiffel Tower here, actually. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we're walking down the street. Um, we passed the mall, I think it was called Grand 
View Mall. Um, I just love the city right now. It's so green and so bustling. It's so nice. Uh, I love street food. Here we have another street food. Um, the tower across you guys see up ahead is Can Canton Tower, I think. Um, uh, it's supposed to be lighting up at night, so there should be like a light show at night or just it, all colorful. Oh, look at that. It's just so peaceful. The guy's just reading a book under the tree. So nice. I've fallen in love with China since I moved here last year. I was only here for a few months um, and then I got stuck in quarantine in another country in Istanbul which is another beautiful city probably maybe the most beautiful city in the world or it is but I wanted to travel and experience different cultures because I was in Turkey, well, I was in Istanbul for years on end. Um, just needed a change. Something that just needed to be out of my comfort zone. And this is truly out of my comfort zone. I cannot even read the letters. I need to learn Chinese. I hope I can just learn it really quickly. A very green city. This is what I thought of when I came to Shanghai also. What amazed me was that it was just really green. I was like, wow. I guess you can see the vegetation is just very thick and green and just luscious. It's a very humid city though. It's down south. It's one of the most southern cities in China. And I believe that this is another entrance to the, world, the mall of the world. Here we see Canton Tower, Canton Tower, up ahead. So,
Okay, so I'm at the Guangdong Museum and it's actually for it's actually free. Um, I didn't pay anything, so um, this is what the card that they give you and yay. It's pretty. All right, so I'm not allowed to take a video inside. Um, I'll maybe take some pictures. I'm allowed to take pictures. Okay. All right, bye guys. I'm not sure which year it dates back to, but it looks pretty old and very cool. Gift store and the museum. famous Canton Tower. Is it recording? Oh. So I'm at this island garden that's right in the middle of the city. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of people here. Uh, so I'm going to be walking through it. And I might be walking towards Beijing Road. And I will see you guys there. called Shangxia Zhu. Um, it's another, it's a pedestrian street um, and it, again, 
it has stores. It's, I believe that this area is a little bit older. I could be wrong, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys down the road. Uh, so a quick tour, and I'll see you guys uh, at the next location after this. <laughs> called Liwan Lake Park area. Here show you guys what it looks like. I'll be crashing at the airport for a few hours, that's it. And then tomorrow back in Shanghai. So today I will try and see as much as Guangzhou as possible. So let's see how that goes. All right, uh, see you guys at my next location. <laughs> okay, so I made my way up to the mountain by Shan Mountain, if I'm not mistaken. It's really dark right now. I think so. Is it late? Okay. So, by, so I'm going to take the Bai Yun cable way up. It costs 25 yuan. I, I'm dripping in sweat right now from the bike. Uh, so, I'm just, so I paid it. Uh, I want to take the cable way up and then I'm going to walk my way down the mountain after. Um, it should be nice. I want to see uh, what it looks like on the cable uh, car also up. So, all right. I will take a video when I go up also. <laughs> So I got my cable car um, ticket, I'm going to put that inside my bag, and so I want to show you guys um, what it looks like. Oh, I believe that there is another um, station? I'm not sure. Alright. <laughs> So I biked all the way up to the mountain, to Baiyun Mountain. Oh, it was quite a 
bike ride. I biked from Tiane um, District. Um, here, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, here is the city. So I'm at the top, I'm not exactly at the top, but there's still a lot more to go up and a lot more places to visit at the mountain. So this is a little view from when you get off the cable car. So I will be walking up the gardens to another summit called Moxing Summit. See you guys at the top. Okay, so I don't know how much more I'm gonna be going up. I'm still heading up. Here is the view. So I believe I'm at a halfway point to the Moxing Summit. There is a zip line at top. I'm gonna be heading up to the summit and if I can get on the zip line, I'm gonna do the zip line and yeah, that'll be, some, that'll be fun. This is so sad, it's going back down. When it should be going up to the summit. We did all that walking up, only to go down and then go back up again. Okay, so I'm almost at the summit. I believe that there is um, a fee that to get into the Moxing Summit. Um, I'm not really sure how much it is, but it looks like it's like two and a half won. So once I get there, I'll let you guys know once I get past the gate. Okay. Okay, so it costs four yuan to get inside um, to go to the top of the summit. Um, and I will be showing you guys what's at the top. <laughs> I got my big water bottle. So I believe I'm almost at the top. I'm not sure. We're gonna see when we get there. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Thank <laughs> you. 
好呆呀，真的强行造的一个字吧，好强行造的一个。We're at the top. I'm the okay, We are at the top. I don't believe it gets any higher than this. You can see the high rises from behind me. Back in downtown Guangzhou. Right there. That was a long walk up, despite taking the cable car. <laughs> okay, so now we're heading down, all the way down. <laughs> I can maybe do the zip line if I can make it on time. It's five. Who knows? That'll be fun. I'll be zip lining down. <laughs> okay, so all the way down. See you guys at the bottom. I think I finally made it to the zipline area. I don't know if it's open or closed. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try and see if I can get on. Yeah. I will not be doing the zip line. However, if anyone wants to do it, it's 288 uh, yuan. I don't want to do it because it's just such a long walk back up, and I'm already going to be walking back up to go out of the garden, which is, I have to go out of the opposite way around, which is. If I go down this way, it's just too long of a walk. I don't know where I'll be headed. Right, anyone wants to do it, it's, it's here, it's on Bayun, uh, on the mountain. Have fun! I am not taking the road, I'm taking a path down the mountain. <laughs> oh god, it's getting dark. Oh, so beautiful. It's better than the road though. I came down that road when I went up to the summit to actually find the zip line. So let's show you guys now. Let me turn the camera around. So I see people coming back. I hope it's not a dead end because if it is, I'm just gonna be exhausted. I'm gonna be dead. Oh God. God. I hope not. Cause I've I have gone down quite a bit. Ah, let's hope for the best. Let there be light. I was walking in a really dark forest down the mountain. Now, thank God, there is some light. Okay, there's another path going down, and there's another path. I don't know which one to take. I have to check the map. Either that one. Or that one. So, I'm finally out of the mountain area. I thought I'd be walking down the path and into Yuntai Garden, which it did not lead me to. I'm so disappointed. So if you're coming to Bayun Mountain, um, remember to first visit Yuntai Garden and then go either take the cable car up to the mountain, which after that you're going to be walking a whole lot more up to Moxing or Moshing. Uh, 
uh, summit, so either one, I'm not sure. So it's a really bummer, it truly is a bummer that I wasn't able to visit the garden. And I have a little kid, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I will be heading to Canton Tower area, which I hope I can, you know, get um, a quick video of the, the lights from the tower. Um, I'll be biking across town, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, from here, there, uh, there is no metro. Maybe I might take the Didi, um, a, a China's Uber. So, let's see. <laughs> That was a really good exercise. Uh, I saw people going up, you know, from the, from the base. I'm not sure if how far up they're gonna be going, but yeah. All right, so if you're coming to Bayin Mountain, definitely visit Yun Chai Garden first and then go up uh, to Bayun. Yes. All right, see you guys at the next destination. Hi guys, so I am at the airport, um, Bayun Airport in Guangzhou. Um, I finished my quarantine, I did a little bit of traveling in Guangzhou, maybe less than 24 hours. Um, so I will be heading to Shanghai in a few hours now. Um, my flight is in the morning and so I know I did not get to see a lot of places in Guangzhou. There are a lot more. There's a lot of temples. Um, there's a Klen Chan um, uh, ancestry. Um, uh, sorry if I'm wrong. Um, there's a lot of places to see. Um, there's an arts museum. Um, there was a Yuntai garden. So if you have time, check them out. Um, and uh, a lot of good places to eat, which again, I did not have much time to do. Uh, I'm a big foodie person, but uh, I did not have uh, a lot of time on hand. Um, I just biked around the city. Um, I wanted to check out the mountain. I got to the summit and I walked all the way back down. Um, I kind of started my day a little bit late. Um, I was just so tired from yesterday. Um, I don't know why, I guess maybe it was just the quarantine. <laughs> so I will be starting a new vlog actually. I'll be doing some vlogs in Shanghai. So um, I'll try and um, fit as much as I can in. Well, I will, I'll be able to. So it'll just be either maybe I plan on doing some daily vlogs for my friends and family. If there's anyone who I don't know, I hope you guys like them. And I'll be doing some uh, maybe some weekly, some maybe um, things to do in Shanghai. So I am still getting to know Shanghai. I'm still traveling. I, I would love to continue exploring. So yeah, so see you in my next vlogs, I guess. <laughs> hey, bye bye. Ciao. <laughs>